who wants to wait around until 1 p.m. anyway when you can just start immediately right now? Let's fade the music out, as so, like that. Make sure you've paused, and then go to this screen here with my face on it, and say hello to everybody, and say welcome back after the weekend, and ask everybody in the chat, the chatters, greetings the chatters. How have you guys been? How are you, how are you doing? So we've got... Uh, yeah, Commander Coots, greetings, good to see you. Millstone Barn, good to see you too. Good to see you, Johnny Longwood, Dante2050, Grief, Targaryus, what an A. Fiery Toad, Dante2050, and his name is Zen Archer. Well, do we have an extra new person here? Uh, and his name is Zen Archer. Are you a new? Uh, are, you, are you a new one? Are you a new person here? Oh, thank you for my shirt. For my compliments on the on the shirt, yes. This is a birthday present. It hasn't been my birthday recently, but this is what my dad got me for my birthday, my 28th birthday in November last year. Um, he got me this T-shirt, and he said in the card, it said, "Please wear on your live streams." This is before I did these live streams. So this is, he was asking me to use them on the official stream to wear this T-shirt, Frackfree Lancashire. So it is not a political statement. It's just that I've run out of clothes to wear because I've had a long weekend I was away over the weekend and I wore every I had lots of outfit changes to do of course and these things take time so you find me on um, a pl on the on the planet's surface it's different isn't it oh look we've touched down um, and me and Shan spent some time chatting and discussing Shaneri Renali good to see you thank you very much for joining us uh, spending some time uh, chatting and discussing what to do next so let me tell you where we are up to so what I've got here is a hold full of FSD injection stuff so we've got five FSD injections available for basic but then six injections available for the standard now what I want to do is get at least 10 or 12 but basically I'm going to spend the rest of today's streams so I hope you don't mind and the rest of this afternoon shh, don't tell anybody Probably not on stream, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to, going to go and do it at my desk, collecting resources um, to then make sure that I can jump lots of future, lots of, you know, do lots of good stuff uh, in future. Um, uh, as in, start the jumping from tomorrow or Wednesday. So we get back on with the jumping. Uh, Johnny Longwood says, My birthday is November, November the 18th. That's a good date. Mine is two days near there, but I shan't tell you. I shall let you guess. Two days near there. It's a good good month. Good month. Johnny Longwood says my birthday is tomorrow in November the eighteenth. I don't really quite understand what that means. Um so yeah, lots of lots of we're gonna drive around a bit. Uh are you around there for whoa Hello. What did you say? Sorry, dangerous squid. I bet you had the rank five FSD upgrade before going to Beagle Point. Uh, I didn't have anything for going to Beagle Point because uh, I did it before the. I did it a while ago before the engineers. Does anyone else think that this planet looks a little bit like a tiger bread? I feel like there's a tiger bread uh, vibe going on here. I'm not really paying attention because I'm trying to talk to you a lot. I hope you're all well, by the way. Did you? Everyone have nice weekends. If you could fill the chat, I'm not paying. Sorry, let's start actually driving carefully now. Um, if you could fill the chat with what you did at the weekend, and then we can all discuss it. I went to a board games convention, and it was very excellent. And I played lots of games, and saw lots of friends that I haven't seen in a long time. And, uh, yeah, it was really, really good. Uh, really cool. Really, really cool indeed. So, um, if anyone wants to lose any recommendations, I've got a few. Guilds of London, Imhotep, Codenames. Three great games that you should all check out. Uh... Careful with the SLV, yeah, I'm going to be careful, don't worry. I've got plenty of... 74%, that's fine. I've got loads of uh, mats for repair, so... Yeah, I'm at 11 for now, so already. Freeing up some space too for the important mats. Here we go, first time. Vanadium and germanium, come on. Pa! We don't need any of you. Oh, also, if people could tell me as well, because of course with the engineers as well, like, things are even more useful, uh, these materials now. So tell me which ones I should be stopping for. I'm assuming it's just like the, the not, you know, rare ones and the very rare ones and things like that. But it would be good. Let's get a little guide if any of you guys know what mats are hot right now. Because while I'm out here, I may as well grab some for when I get back. Uh, 
If anyone's got any questions, um, ask Assistant Producer Coots. Uh, he will be able to tell you anything because I'm too busy actually flying the ship today. When I say flying the ship, I mean driving this SRV. Whoa! Uh, you tried to get stuff for free. I did, I sent, yeah, yeah, a bit of a shill. Basically, I sent an email being like, uh, not an email, you, you know what I'm saying. I sent a tweet out being like, here's a selfie of me. I really want to, I really want to, um, I really want to win a copy of Code Names. But that was a great, such a great game. Really, really awesome. It's only about 12 quid as well. So it's actually quite shameful. But I thought I'd just join in, you know. If I was doing the social media campaigning for it, which I have done in the past, I was like, you know, it's, it's tough. It's a tough job. And, you know, you want people to get involved to make sure that people are spreading the word. Going over here for this rare looking thing that's this way. Where are you? Where are you? Come to me now. Here we are. Ugh. No, could have what I need. Could have what I need. Here we go. Iron. Carbon. Nickel. Carbon. Boo. Andy FM, if you are in the chat, uh, if you spent 14 hours playing Star Aris, fantastic. Good game. I've heard a lot about it. I haven't played it myself yet. I want to play it. Andy FM, what are we going to do instead? Every single time that I find a vanadium or a germanium, that is when you're going to be pouring uh, drinkies from the chat, uh, for the chat, please. That would be very, very good. Um, Fairy told you a bit of travelling. Yes, you did. You made it out to the farthest reaches in the entire galaxy, didn't you? Which is pretty incredible, even further than Beagle Point. So how many light years is that away now? Uh, if I told you if you could let people know, it's pretty impressive stuff. Uh, what else have we got? Streamed about 40 hours of Planet Coaster. Yes, well done, Adfo TV. Nicely done. Played Elite, says Mudstone Barn. And then he does this. It's more like this, actually, because his arms are sort of out like that. Look that way. Mm, well. Uh, yeah. Uh, played Horizons all weekend. Nice one, Jenny Longwood. Awesome stuff. Uh, polonium is needed to level level five. No, I don't have the time to get. Well, I can look for polonium if it, if I find any, which is gonna be crazy. Uh, a germanium, a, gena a geranium, not a geranium, a germanium. Uh, every afternoon I use a blue screen flash or video bug. Oh, I'm not seeing a blue screen flash on my end. Is anybody else seeing a blue screen flash? We need to sort it out for Mogriax. Sorry, Coots, I'm driving. I'm doing it. As you know, if you are just joining, if this is the first time you've ever been here. Uh, on a live stream. I'm trying to make my way home all the way to Seoul. I'm about 58,000 light years away now, but I now need to start picking up some materials to make some big jumps uh, to increase my FSD range because currently I'm a little bit stuck and it would take about 12 hours according to Shan's data. But look, we're definitely driving across a large chunk of tiger bread. I think that's, all, that's clearly what's happening here. If you don't know what tiger bread is, um, head down to your local Tesco supermarket and ask the, 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 the closest cashier or assistant and say, excuse me, I've been told to ask for some tiger bread. Um, and then purchase it, get a good slab of butter, or jam, or both, if you're that kind of, if you're that way inclined, and uh, treat yourself to a tiger bread sandwich. Jam sandwich. If you're American, jelly. I don't know what they call tiger bread in America. Tiger bread. Probably that. <laughs> They've got some crazy names, those folks. So, of course, as well, the biscuit reviews will be on a quarter to one, quarter to two, sorry, the, the quarter to the hour, and I'll be doing one of those every day this week. I've got no days off. I'm not being lazy this week. I've got, a day, I'm, I'm going to be doing it every day. We, of course, have guest Wednesday, which I'm going to be doing a, a Girl Scouts cookie special, which is super exciting. And then on Friday, we have the return of Walter Neil Lewis for the Bisc Quiz, and this round is all about engineers. So not specifically to Elite Dangerous, but engineers in general. Um, but I think that's actually going to be a great, uh, a great round. A really, really, really in interesting. So do some. I mean, no, mu no amount of um, revision is going to help at this situation. So does everybody know what the difference is um, with the noises that the scanner is making? Whoop, it's into engines. Yeah, all right. All right. Chromium, no. Sulfur, no. Phosphorus, no. Nickel, no. Honestly, I have been finding loads of vanadium on here until literally you guys turned up. 
I was finding vanadium every, every, around every other corner. So it's going to happen. We are going to get some. I was getting like two vanadiums in one. I think I've used up all my luck for the day. Also, it's craggy. I actually do get a little bit confused when there's like loads on the map and I'm just not sure which one to follow. Uh, nickel for SRV repairs. Yeah, but I've got enough SRV repairs in the bank, uh, so I don't really want to fill up that space. I don't want to use the space. I want to use the space for vanadium uh, and uh, germanium and niobium as well, which I've also found on this planet as well. I have made a bookmark as well. People will be happy to know. So if we do go and venture out after this tomorrow or later on today, then I know where there's a planet to get back to that can actually find me the stuff that will help me jump. So here we go. Now we're focusing on one. Take my time, take my time. Wish I had you lot here, my vision here, so I'm looking this way a bit more today. And I can't speak to you all, and I miss you. I missed you over the weekend. Did everyone... I hope Friday wasn't too sad without Neil Lewis and without Walter and, and, and I. I hope you, uh... I hope you were all right. I hope you got by. I bet your lunchtime was... I mean... God, lunchtimes, eh? What are they like? Chromium. Iron. It's going well. Screw you, chromium and iron. I like the changes as well to that, um, the scanner, uh, as in with the SRV on the... I'm just trying to point to it. It's there. This thing here. Um, because I like that it no longer keeps the um, the materials that you don't want, it no longer keeps them on the scanner for absolutely ages and you can just leave the area and like after after a, a little while it'll, you know, actually only a few seconds of driving away it'll actually disappear. Previously it left them on there for ages and it would just clog up the scanner loads and you couldn't really make sense of anything. So they clearly were like, okay, so people are just leaving materials behind. Which makes a lot of sense. There we go. So we've got a flat line here at the bottom. That means as far as my knowledge, my vast knowledge of this goes, that I can find, uh, it's going to be a bit more of a rare thing, so maybe a meteorite or uh, whatever the other one's called, the other rare thing. I don't know. Ask Shan. Shan, what's it called? Hello, Andre Kitty. How are you? Friday was traumatic. Lack of biscuits hit hard. Yeah, I'm sorry. Hello, Vanguard MK1. Biscuitman. I am Edward Biscuitman. Edward Biscuitman Lewis. <laughs> I've been called many of things in my time, and that is not one of them. There we go. Mesiosid... Mesosiderite? Say what it is now. It's nothing. It's niobium! Yes! And iron, and some carbon, but no, I just want the niobium. Lovely stuff. Oh. If, um... Neobium were a biscuit, it would be uh, the Fox's Chunky Cookie of biscuits. It's my favourite. I love a bit of Neobium. Let's head over this way. Towards this double liner, it's not going to be as good. And yes, I know that before anybody says, or you probably already said as well, Hello, NXLG47, how are you? Uh, yeah, just use the website where it's going to figure out what a signal means. I, I often know what most of these... I, I can gather pretty much what each one of these scanners... Like I kind of know what I'm looking for, but at this point you can get vanadium or uh, germanium in pretty much any of these things. Oh, hello. I came out of nowhere. Chromium and iron. Mm. Mm. Who earns? But yes, today uh, this live stream is sponsored by my dad, Neil Lewis, uh, who gave me this t-shirt for my birthday and told me to wear it to further his own agenda. He used my birthday to further his agenda. I mean, it's kind of, I, 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 get the, I get the impression sometimes that he created me, he spawned me to further his own agendas in life, like to use me as like a, a, a tool. I've been called a tool a few times in my time. So it makes me, it brings me to suspect something. Whoa, driving. Vanadium and germanium. Oh, yes, germanium, yeah, we haven't found any vanadium yet. Niobium as well, you have to down your pint whatever pint you're serving up. So we haven't found any yet. But I feel, I'm feel i feeling good about this. I'm feeling very good about this one. Oh, there it is. Or am I? It's an outcrop. 
iron. Oh, there's lots. Iron. Nickel. Iron. Sulfur. Nickel. Sulfur. Maybe if I press the scan button numerous times, it will change into something that I actually need. Doubt it. Let's head on over this way. Let's just take a take a moment to look at the view. Over here. Oh. Look at that. Vast. Expanse. While we're here. Oh, one for the collection, I think. Oh god, don't do that. Back over this way. Wrong one. Wrong way. Yep. Stop. Rotate, 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 rotate. Oh. I'm trying to get There's no stars, but you know. One for the collection. It's saving now, it's stuttering around like a madman. There you go, right, back in, let's go. Uh, so, hey, hey, everybody. Uh, a bit called Will, hey, to give all my friends here my thanks for Xbox, and, uh, Xbox Horizons. I hope you're enjoying it. I've heard some really good things about it over the weekend. I know we've had a lot of players in game playing on it and touching down on the planet, so we're really, really thrilled that, that the Xbox guys seem to be really, really loving it. And, uh, yeah, and I'm really glad that we're now at a point with like parity where we can, like, pretty much updates in future are all going to be around about the same time. Um, uh, it just takes, it depends on Xbox, so basically whether it can come out at the same time or not. Uh, yeah, that planet's creepy. It is a bit creepy, isn't it? There's something creepy going on here. Uh, this is a long range and explorers to interact NPCs. Yeah, but then I would also be really scared because then you might get long range NPC trolls. And so and I would be very, very, ner that would make me very, very nervous indeed if that was the case. It's, I like, I, there's something about the, 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 the isolation that I think, I mean, it's, it makes a lot of sense that I would be out here on my own all the way this, this far. Unless there was an expedition, of course, arranged for everyone to come out here, like Beagle, like Distant Worlds. So official, apparently, Distant Worlds is now officially over, as if it wasn't before, which makes me laugh. But it's officially over now, apparently. This week is when it's officially over. I don't know who they were waiting for or what they were waiting for, but... Come on. Get yourself righted. Oh, God, why am I up there? There you go. All right, what's going to be in here, everybody? Are we ready for some vanadium? We need some vanadium. That's what we need. We're looking for vanadium. Looking for vanadium. Our survey says... Our survey says no. Refusal to comply. We're feeling good about this one. We're feeling, feeling very confident that our next search is going to be the one. It's going to be the one. Are you ready? I would not want to... Oh, hello. Oh, that's, that's low enough for me. That's low enough for my com comfort levels. Free fuel. Thank you. Oh, hello. Got a little poke over it. Vanadium! Thousand voices all cry out at once, or fifty-one people-ish, all cry out at once to say, Vanadium, we have found you! And we know what that means, Andy FM. That means that you need to pour us a big old shot of whatever it is that you've got behind the bar for us today. And remember, everybody, to drink responsibly, drink carefully, drink efficiently, drink uh, adjectively, objectively, subjectively, uh, repressively, and also like a, a gladiator would before a, a fight. Neobium! That's even better! Caught it midair too, like an absolute pro. Everybody down your beers and then Andy FM pass on the shots. Also, everybody should also be well aware that um, this is a, an imaginary bar that we run here. It's called the Mars Mars Bar, the space bar at the edge of the galaxy. And uh, Andy FM is the tenor of the bar. He gets very offended if you say it's imaginary, but we just sort of let it slide a little bit. So you've just, just all got to get into the role play aspect of the live stream. Big rock in it, look. Nice. Wonder what happened there. A big rock. <sighs> tiger bread planet. Did anyone find out what tiger bread was called? 
the, f the, the, the problem with this stream is, it's totally not imaginary, says the FM. We're having absolute, absolute mandarin. Absolute mandarin. Okay, very, very nice. Uh, yes, so is the next new season in June 2017 if Xbox is equal with PC updates? Um, I, I, I don't know where you've got that information from. I cannot confirm nor deny it. And I don't even mean that in a joking way. Oh, hello. This little guy. Ah, it's all going off now. Look, oh, most disappointing rock in the world. We shan't let the rock beat us. Come on. Oh, iGamer17 isn't here, so we do need the official, um, the gamer, sorry, uh, the, yes, Commander Griefed, if you could step in for a second. The, what's, what's your role again when you do this? It is the, oh, the intern Time Lord, or the, yeah, temp Time Lord, that's it. Temporary Time Lord. He's going to count down for before the biscuit stream begins at quarter to two. Outcrop. Come on, Outcrop. What secrets doth you hold? Iron. 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 Phosphorus. Over here. We have that single line. That means it's going to be a rare or better. At least very co at least common or better. I think that's how it works. With driving skills like these, um, you know, it's easy to pay the bills. Okay, we've got two very close proximity, which of course is a good thing. Uh, this is the first one. Chromium, chromium. I'm feeling this one, I'm feeling this one, this is it, this is it, look at it. Germanium! Mm. Andy FM, if you could please pour another shot behind the bar of uh, absolute whatever it is we're having. I think it's called Absolute Nightmare. I think that's the drink that you're pouring today. Uh, hopefully everyone's feeling good, though. Uh, oh. Look at that. that that's, this is my fit. What's it? No, come on. Go back to where it was before. It's fun. No, oh, I thought it was a bit of a mess. Iron and iron. We were, we were riding on... We were just, we were, we were getting too cocky, I think, there. What's best? This way, this way, this way. So today I'm just sort of playing the game a bit more, really, uh, rather than, because this is basically, this, I ha this has to happen. This has to happen. We worked it out. We worked out that it would take me a year, as in, like, not just a year of playtime, as in a year of, a, 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 like, a year. As in, literally, I will be doing this stream here at this point next year before I make it back to Sol if I carry on at this, at this rate. So I need to get some of this to speed me up a little bit. Because otherwise I was going to have to go around 12,000 light years back on myself. And nobody wants to see that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't got time for you, little rock. Whatever. I'm hoping that I killed some bacteria there. Although there's probably no bacteria here on this lifeless planet. Almost definitely, in fact. Hi, everybody. Chromium must be Google Earth. Yeah. <laughs> Biscuit review in 25 minutes. Thank you very much, Griefed. You are a true champion. Thank you very much for filling in as the temporary time lord today. The official count of down is sick. Um, watching count down. That's what he does in his days off. Ooh, Chromium? No. Vanadium? Mm, exciting. What, what, were you, what were you there? Why are you not a lot? Chromium, chromium, vanadium, iron. Vanadium will do. I'm happy with vanadium. Oh, tasty, tasty. <sighs> vanadium. It tastes like victory. Today's biscuit is actually a gingerbread, uh, which is a little bit of a spoiler for when the biscuit comes around, biscuit review comes around, but that's a quarter to the hour. We'll be doing the biscuit review. Uh, which I'm very, very excited for. It's actually a special gift from my dad. This, like I said, today's episode is sponsored by my dad uh, in that he brought me into this world and made it possible. So everybody say thank you very much to, to Walter Neal for bringing me into this world. Because I know he's going to be watching this episode because I'm going to tell him to. Because one, I'm wearing a frappy Lancashire t-shirt. Two, um, it's his biscuit that I'm reviewing that he sent in all the way from Lancashire. And three, 
Um, I tell him to watch every day. He comes in and he loves it. Can't get enough. He might even be here live in the chat. He's not live. So, yeah, according to Vanguard and MK1, one Jumponium is one less stream. That's not necessarily the case. Don't look at it that way. Because I'm going to carry on doing these anyway, even when I make it back to, um, back to Sol. Uh, I'm going to carry on doing these anyway. I'm going to start, we're going to start looking to get Elite in uh, combat. Which is going to be hilarious, because you'll watch how bad I am at the game, and then you'll see me slowly improve at PvP combat. It's going to be a very slow and painful process, even slower and more painful than this has been. 6,000 light years. 6,000 light years in five weeks. 6,000 light years in five weeks of live streaming. 34 hours I've streamed. 6,000. And we're nearly at 500 as well. And of course, we need to mention the uh, EDS 38. Also, it's lovely weather outside as well, so the ice cream van will be turning up at some point. We will all must pay our respects to the ice cream van as soon as it arrives. But yeah, I must mention the EDS 38. They've not been mentioned for a while. Remember, if we do, I'm almost at 500 followers. If I reach 1,000 followers, then I am going to make it my personal duty to buy the original EDS 38. The original 38 people who turned up to the very first stream, or the first couple of days at least, anyway. Um, uh, the, uh, I'm going to buy them all an ice cream. I'm going to make it my personal duty to find these people, buy them a dairy-based uh, ice-cold product. Handbrake. Nope. Nothing of use. Right, we've got some more stuff coming out there. Very nearby. So everyone, what's um every if we can do uh, highlights reel while uh, everybody's waiting uh, for me to start jumping again? Uh, what has been your favourite stream? What we have done so far? Chromium, chromium, niobium. It's good. We want niobium. I'm seriously looking at. I'm think we've we've killed it here today. Uh, look at this. I can do six. Oh, six still. I've got ten. So I need. I suppose I'll start, it's going to start. More cadmium, isn't it? I just need to double the amount of cadmium I've got. Cadmium is not on this planet. I can tell you. I've been searching around for quite a few hours on this planet. Uh, wait, how many? Sorry, how many more can we do on basics? Seven. So I'm going to get like 12 or 14. Basically, uh, I need double the amount that I think I'm going to need because in case I get stuck and I need to make my way back, uh, I don't want to make an embarrassing call to the fuel rats, uh, to the rock rats at any point. Tungsten? I don't need you. Chromium, don't need you. Tungsten, is tungsten any good for... Um, I'm, going to get, I'm going to take it anyway because it's, it's a standard element rather than a common or very common. Paul Archer, you like the mug I've got with the biscuit holder on it? You mean this one? That was from Shan. Oh, the day that um, I always use that. What about my mum, says Orange Spark. Oh, I do like my mum. She's great. Uh, she lives in France. Let's get in 20 minutes, everybody. First one of the week. Monday is everybody's favourite day, isn't it? Let's be honest. I hope that your work colleagues are kind to you this week. And if they aren't, then do let me know, because I will send them a, um, a, a sort of passive-aggressive tweet. So what I'm well known for is my passive-aggressive tweets. Um, what else have we got? Sorry, Headless Ed. Everyone likes Headless Ed. Orange Eye or Spark really enjoyed the six-hour stream. Thank you very much. Uh, you should have a gold to scan everything at every jump, though. I could. That really would delay us nicely. Uh, gingerbread is not a biscuit. Bread, bread, whoa, whoa, whoa. A gingerbread? Bread is not a biscuit. Everyone counts gingerbread as biscuit, right? Everyone thinks that that's okay. Coots is just going off, off the rails, right? Special guest Henry Cavill was a good time. Uh, tungsten is good for darts. <laughs> tungsten drill. Uh, what is happening here? Here we go, this one. Uh, ice bodies with brown. Uh, don't drink and drive, everyone. 
don't look away from the screen and drive. Cletus Van Damme, you're on holiday this week. What are you doing with your week? Oh, hi, what's going on? Hey, Spy Tech, how are you today? Good to see you. If this is um, a, uh, if this is your first time here, please do hit the follow button and uh, tell others to hit the follow button. Tell all of your friends to come over here and hit the follow button because Ed's 38 want a, a free ice cream based on basically if, if I get to a thousand followers. That's basically what this live stream is about, is about trying to provide people with ice cream. Uh, it's a serious, um, serious goal in life for me to supply everybody I know with at least one ice cream. Um, I'm joking, this is my journey home live stream. You can read what it's all about in the description below and uh, it does include a biscuit review section which of course is a hit with all. That's it, full stop, all. With all of the everyone. All of the everyone likes to come along to the biscuit hit. Now we, I do this stream every day at 1pm BST for around about an hour. With a biscuit review at the end of every episode, we've reviewed 33 biscuits so far. And let me tell you, at this rate, I'm going to review about 500 more. Look at that beautiful leap that I just did up there. Ooh, smooth landing. This planet is freaking me out a bit. There's something quite grim about it. Mordor. Uh, I'm good. Hey, Spytech. Yeah, good first time here. Yeah. You're eating ice cream. What ice cream are you eating right now? And do you have enough to share? It's, you can't. It's not fair for you to bring a vanadium. You can bring as much vanadium as you wish. I'm taking some tungsten as well, wherever that is. Where did it go? There you go. All right. Oh, let's take a little breather. A little stretch. Fragrant Lancashire. I don't. Look, it's not. It's not my. It's not my thing. Uh, Tigerius, what any any patches planned for this week? Um, I am not entirely sure yet. Uh, we'll get back to you all tomorrow on that note. Yeah, what flavour? Antonacci's antics are always fun to watch. Yes, Dante 2050. They are always silly. He hasn't done any for a while. I think he's holding off on them a little bit. Um, he's going to save up for some really uh, some absolute top quality saboteurism. Saboteurism? Saboteur. Sabotage. No, I think I prefer saboteurism. I'm going to use that. No. Andrew Kitty, who was here on the second stream? I know Andrew Kitty. Thank you. You're still part of the 38. The first two were like 20 people, and then you came along on the second one, which is great. Uh, and basically, it's used as a vehicle to black free stuff from Yorkshire Tea, including this mug, which was sent to me uh, by Yorkshire Tea themselves, uh, who are awesome. Uh, camping from Wednesday today, chilling a bit with Luke today. Bikes tomorrow. Bikes? Is that like a cycle bike, or are you... Uh, more of a motorbike man, or what's going on? But it's good to see everybody, and I'm really excited about this week. Uh, I think it's going to be a good, a good strong week of, uh, of of searching across the galaxy. And I feel like I'm going to make it to the Rock and Vo crossing. I think it's called Rock and Vo. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm going to make it there this week. That's my my prediction. It might be a little soon to be making predictions as bold as that. I'll let you know on Thursday. I'll let you know on Friday after I've made it. Or not. This group in 15 minutes. Thank you very much, Griefed. I do think that the countdown is very important. iGamer17 didn't let me know he wouldn't be here today, but we will let him off. You're allowed one day where, you, where you're not here. <laughs> Otherwise, you're ejected. Ejected from the team. It's not true. You will always be welcome in the team. You're always welcome in the stream. I want to make it the most nicest place that anyone could ever visit and just chat and talk with one another. Like a, it's like a chat room that is only live once a, once a day. Like an exclusive club. Hello. Excuse me, Mr. Bronze-Eyed Condite. Um, I was wondering, um, I was wondering if you had any anything inside you that I can use. What's that? I don't understand you. You will die! Sulfur, uh, no. Didn't inform me either. Worst employer ever. Uh, I didn't inform you. No, I'm sorry, I should have done. Yeah. Soz. I'm not a very good manager. Phosphorus. Iron. Phosphorus. Iron. Phosphorus. Iron. Iron. Phosphorus. Iron. 
Okay, uh, thank you very much, Arms Like Noodles. It is really, really good to see you. Thank you very much for being here today. You are the best. Oh, iGame is your employee, isn't it? Sorry, he's your boss, I'm his boss. We're all like in a, in a pyramid. It's a pyramid scheme. It's effectively a pyramid scheme. Uh, gosh, Paul Archer, have a good one, yeah. Uh, 1.33 Abyss route, no. I don't think I can meet that. I don't think I can make that Mogriax. I genuinely don't think I can actually make that route. Um, why I'm climbing up this mountain here, or this hillock, I don't really know. Oh! I swear I've been here before. I need to get out some weathers that just flat land that I can just race across really quickly. Here we go, starting to see some stuff showing on the scanner. Pyramid scheme ripoff confirmed. <laughs> Eventually, it's going to turn around and go. So, now that I've got everybody here, once I've made like a thousand followers, I'll be like, right, well, now that I've got everyone here, it's time for me to tell you a little bit about Yorkshire Tea. And it turns out that I have just been peddling Yorkshire Tea this entire time. I would never, I would never do that. I am a well-known sellout in all sorts of different ways. And I pride myself on my sellout abilities. My ability to sell out faster than you can say, say the word sellout, which is very, very quick if you practice. I practice every day, twice a week. Sell out, sell out, sell out. I'm actually just, even though it sounds like I'm just making a noise, I'm actually saying sell out really, really quickly. And it, sometimes you can say it so fast that you don't even make a noise. Just say it then. A, qu a quick quiver of the lip. So I'm saying, I'm saying sell out. Basically, I'll sell out quick. If you offer me anything, I'll take it. Chromium, germanium, especially vanadium. Oh, is that my, is that my Wait, we don't want you, chromium. Nobody wants you. Germanium, we'll take you with us. You're coming. Oh, lovely germanium. Ready? Chromium, chromium, and vanadium. That was jackpot, right there. Eight injections available. Closing in on our goal. Ooh. Uh, anyone else have the problem that Elite doesn't run in full screen, just Windows? Thank God MK1, that's not something that I'm familiar with, unfortunately. Sorry. Uh, I need a whole load more material nodes. Does it? Are you tempting me there, Sham, to call in my ship? Oh, uh, Paul. I'm using this. Xbox One pad. Uh, it's fine. It's good. I like it. And this is how I control my ship, to be honest, when I'm exploring. I'm going to be bringing in the X-52 Pro uh, when I get back home to do the... If we, if we actually do go for the uh, Elite in combat, which I want to do, but it's going to take a long, 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 long time. But if I actually do go for that, then I'm going to be using the X-52 Pro for it. Uh, Paul, you're not It's probably the most quiet I've been for a long time. Ten minutes until the biscuit review. That's the quietest I've been ever on this stream, I think, then. For, it was literally 20 seconds there where I didn't speak. How long does everyone reckon I can go without speaking? <coughs> it really is a challenge for me. In life, not just on this stream. Phosphorus, material, iron, sulfur, nickel. Boring, 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 boring. Nobody wants that. So who reckons, everybody in chat, who reckons that they've got the most exciting weekend ahead of them? Do it. Full speed ahead. Whoa. Oh, yeah. I'm actually really enjoying this. I'm enjoying this a bit too much. If that's possible. It's, just take, it's a nice break from doing the jumping, I think. Breaks up the. Uh, all right. So what we're we going for? We're going for this double line here. You can see how that's like a double line on the on 
think that means that it's going to be more likely to contain rare, rare materials. I can't be exactly sure about that though. Shan, Shanari and Ali will be able to tell you that sort of stuff because he's, as, as the chief navigator, he understands all these sorts of things. It's not a very low gravity world, to be completely honest with you, XLG47. Uh, Portugal scanning skills managed to name all those fragments before they hit the deck. Very good. I just I just tap the I just tap the word I just tap the the Y button. It's really simple. Carbon, nickel, carbon, nickel, carbon. Rubbish. Uh. Just like the idea that someone was behind me, like going, oh, what's all this? Who's left all this here? Just like someone just collecting all this carbon up and all this sulfur and things, just, just behind me, just, just off camera. Constantly, like, slur slurping all the stuff up, like, hee hee hee. Come on. You've got what I want, right? You know it. Phosphorus, carbon, sulfur. Rubbish. Hey, Spoon Lurful. Thank you so much for hosting. Thank you very much for the host. Really appreciate it. If you are around frequently and regularly, please do hit the follow button as well. You have joined me today on a little bit of a different day. This today is, is all about the uh, driving around on Tiger Blood Tiger Bread Planet, uh, looking for um, oh, let's call it Tiger Bread Planet. Looking for oh, feels great when you're just soaring through the air a little bit, you know. You just keep that, keep those thrusters feathered. Searching around for materials in order to make it home quicker because at this rate it's going to take me literally a year of live streaming every single day at lunchtime. So we're just trying to speed that process up just enough to keep people into. Oh, look at that it's a crater. Let's go down there. Luckily for me, there's something down there that I want to have a look at as well. Chromium, phosphorus, tungsten. I'll take the tungsten. Let's this way. Rather disappointing find. We'll jump. Oh. Too close. And now I'm at too much of a strong angle. What's going on here? Oh, there you go. Oh, I couldn't see it as well. You always want to see at least one mess up, don't you, per stream? And while well, this is happening right now, here we go. Carbon, sulfur, and chromium. I feel like my look has been used up. Fisk, give you five minutes, so you can also check the contacts tab on the left for a quick overview of what materials were dropped in case you didn't know. Ah, look at that. Thanks, Griefed. Great that you can always count on Griefed to be absolutely awesome. And can I say as well, I'm super excited about this week. Like, I'm really, really excited to. Um, uh, to stream, like it really does feel like these streams really, really do fill me with like a like something to look forward to. It's really, really cool. So, again, I really do appreciate you guys being there. I hope this is it. I hope this is still sorry because I I don't get to talk much while we're doing these. So I'll try and keep these as much as off screen as possible because I prefer the ones where I get to just talk to you guys a lot because that makes it more interesting for me. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how you feel, but I, I just quite like the I quite like when I can just chatter at you and with you. But I can't really see the chat because I've got to concentrate too much on driving. I'm not sure it's good for our relationship, you know? It's like, a, it's like to, you know. I can feel a, a rift coming between us. And it's shaped like an SRV.
I, I usually do leave it open all the time. I don't know why it seems to sort of tuck itself away every now and again. Oh, it is loaded. Yeah, I always do. It makes no difference. I always keep that loaded. Is an official stream tonight? Not tonight, Orange Spark. There is one tomorrow that we're doing with. Uh, we're playing CQC uh, against one of the devs. I can't remember exactly who it is. It says CJ in the newsletter, but I think actually that's going to be changing. Um, but yeah, that should be good fun. We're going to play some CQC. I might jump on some CQC as well uh, and see if I can beat my previous score, which wasn't very good against the community because you guys are absolutely ridiculously good. Dana, Jessica Booth, if you, uh, you're probably going to be there. You usually are. Niobium, that's nice. That's what we want. Is that two Niobiums? What's this thing here? Like you say, let's go to it. Let's go to the contacts tab. Yeah. Thanks, Griefed. That's just something I never thought to do. Three minutes. Thank you, Griefed. Thank you very much. The three minute import the all important three minute warning. Okay, bags of niobium. Bags of the stuff. But I'm not uh, it's cadmium that I'll need now. To be honest, I might even just go and find somewhere else for some cadmium. Which could be uh yeah. Ooh. Vanadium is what I want, and I'm finding more niobium than I am vanadium, which is seems absolutely crazy to me. Earlier on, I saw my own tire tracks for the first time, and it, it I had to do like a, a double take. I was like, oh, hold on, wait, wait, let's go. Who's this? It's like a dog finding its own tail for the first time. A little crater there, tiger bread crater. Everyone get your everyone get your cups ready. Everyone get your mugs and cups ready. The biscuit review begins in about two minutes' time. Tell all your friends. Uh, nudge your person at the desk next to you if you're at a desk. If you're not at a desk, if you're just standing up and you're watching on your phone, uh, then shout it out loud in the middle of the street. The biscuit review begins in two minutes. And if you're in the street uh, but there's nobody around, then keep shouting until somebody comes to try and get help. Just shout, help, 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 help. And then as soon as somebody comes over, say, Oh, I just wanted help to enjoy this biscuit review that's coming up in just a moment. And I thought that by shouting help in the middle of the street, then maybe more people would turn up. That's what you've got to do. Uh, so for our last one, because I know it's going to come very soon, let's head over to this single line and hope that it's got some both niobium and vanadium in there. Perhaps we'll find some germanium. It would be really beautiful if the last one we shoot at, the last one we take, is a lovely, delightful collection of things. Let's find out, let's find out, let's find out. One more minute! One last scan, one last scan, one last scan. Here we go. You can see it. You can see it there on the top of the... Poking above the horizon like a shiny beacon. That wasn't the one I was thinking, is it? Oh, well. Come on. Chromium. Vanadium. Yes. Oh, that's lovely. Look at that. Look at all that. Two germaniums and one vanadium. Can you believe it? What a fantastic close. Oh, that rock is getting in my way again. Come on. <laughs> Gonna make a big deal out of it. Like, never has one felt so pleased about finding three rocks on the floor, right? But I am very. Oh, hello. I did it again then. I, I saw my, my own tracks and I was like, hold on a minute. Who's been here? Oh, it's me. Look at them. It's great, isn't it? The levels of detail are just so, so much better now. Uh, cool. So, uh, it looks like it's nearly time for the biscuit. One more minute. I will wait until uh, it turns up. Uh, ladies and gents, it's time for the Biscuit Review and Reveal with yours truly, Edward C. Lewis. Yes, that's me. Oh, wait, thank you. He's writing a script for me now. I didn't even realize. I, I thought he was... Basically, I'll say whatever is written there. So, what up there in that corner? Uh, like here. You ready? There. Say something now. Go. Speak to me. Because there's there's a joke there. We'll work on it, grief. We'll write we'll write a great joke. But it's good to see everybody here. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us. If you do want to tell all your friends, do make sure do let them know. Poke your colleagues. Um, let let your friends know. Tell your dog. Uh, get your dog involved. Uh, anything that you, you want. Uh, I didn't have time to check and do it three times. It's a long way down. Lol. Sorry, searching for an email address. Okay, cool, cute. All right, this is all odd. Uh, these are the secrecy on the second of June. So, a time travel confirmed. Oh, sorry, did I? Put the wrong date in there. I do know there's a delay. Yes, grief. Thank you. 
for the confirmation. Sometimes I do need to take these things. So right, as you all know, you all know how this works. Uh, every single one of you in here, all 67 of you lovely, lovely people, be very, very kind to each other. Tell each other one, um, one key fact about yourself that the other might know. And you've got to pick one person to, oh, pick one person to ask a question. That's fun. Everyone pick one person in the chat to ask a question, to learn something about them. And then I will be right back in a second with the biscuit review of the day. So thanks for coming so far, and uh, I think it's going to be uh, things can be good in. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. It should be good. In. All right. See you in a sec. Oh, my camera's disappeared for some reason. Where have you gone? There you are, he's back. Hello. Whoa. So for some reason I was having a... I thought for real that I'd worn a green screen suit entirely. Uh, accidentally, during the break, I put on a, a full-on green... Borrowed David's green suit. Oh, by the way, I had to say hello to David Raven. Everybody standing right next to me in a green screen suit. Uh, I'm sure he'll lend it to me at some point. Right, okay, let's bring up the biscuit. That's not right. Go away. Silly, silly machine. 
come on, the sound works. The sound. There you go. Oh, very good. OBS sometimes, I tell you. Sometimes it's fantastic. Sometimes not so much. So thank you everybody for helping uh, last time. I can't remember who exactly it was that um, uh, helped me to lock the top bar there, so we could always keep the top bar as uh, the uh, you know the, the, the subsections, the sub points for the for the final scoring. Um, so today's biscuit, everybody, is very very exciting. I, I, I count it as biscuits or a, or a cookie if you're American. It's a cookie. I don't know, if you want to call it a cookie, you can call it a cookie, like, I don't know, like a valley girl, like, I don't know, if you just want to call it a cookie, you can just go and call it a cookie. I don't know where my accent's going now, but like, I'm totally sorted. Uh, here we go. Here we go, let's have a look. A look. It's like Scottish, Scottish, let's have a look. Sound like coot right now. It's how coot sounds. Uh, right, here we go. Fragile. Handle with care. That's my dad's address, you don't want that one. But look, look at, look at, that's actually really sloppy writing for his, usually he's very good, usually he's got very, very good, like, robotic handwriting, but he probably didn't expect me to uh, show that up on, a, on, on, the, on, on the screen, drawing the live screen, so, sorry, Dad, but you've been outed. Uh, Alright, so, he has sent me this, I did have a check just to make sure that it wasn't anything offensive, he's well known for sending me offensive items in the post. Uh, this is said, it says, wrapped in tradition. Sarah Nelson's Grassmere Gingerbread. So this is some real, I think some real high-end gingerbread from Grassmere. You can see here, Grassmere Gingerbread Shop in Grassmere, which is the Lake District, which is a very sort of tourist-friendly, to you, you some may call it a tourist trap, Grassmere. Others, others call it a beautiful, tranquil landscape full of lots of things to do and spend your time with your family. Others say, go, at your own peril because you'll meet lots of people with all the gear and no idea like walking sticks and all of the cr crampons crampons it's a good word isn't it hey uh great great i sound like cross kitty what that's i that's good great well done that's my cross kitty impression thank you uh right here we go this is the worst american accent my american accent's all right i can do a good impression of my dad i'm just being silly so uh, this used to be the working man's stream, but now you don't know. <laughs> you prefer Keswick? It is a lovely place. Look at this. The, the, I have to say, I know that we don't do reviews of the packaging, but it is very, very nicely packaged. Now, I have to say as well, these are large pieces of gingerbread. So I want everybody to help me out decide what we think qualifies as one piece of gingerbread. First of all, uh, Sarah Nelson's Grassmere gingerbread. Celebrated, it says. It says it's cel on the packaging. Celebrated. Should we celebrate it today? Let's find out. Sarah... Nelson's Grassmere, oh, Grassmere, uh, uh, ginger bread. There you go. Alright, let's find out. Appearance. It's supposed to be very good. 1984 says, when are you back so I can shoot you please? Everybody, tell, tell 1984 Saint what his chance of killing me is going to be. Because look, we've got 67 people here who are very much supportive of my cause here, of what I'm doing. And those guys will defend me to the very end, and I do do it. Oh, hello, this is crumbly. This is crumbly, crumbly stuff. Um, wow. Does it, ooh, so, it's very soft. So, this is sort of breaks off into chunks. Oh god, it's very crumbly. Very, Henry, are you ready, Henry? Henry? Yep, Hen Henry, are you? So right, we've got Henry. Henry is Henry's getting getting his gears warmed up and ready to uh, perform his duties admirably. And it's nothing naughty. He just uses his trunk to um, suck up the table, things that are under the table. So here we go. We've got a piece of... Look at this. It looks like a rye bread. It looks drab. Look at it. And again, I've, oh, it's, you can hear. Can you hear those crumbs? Absolute craziness. Crazy levels of crumbs. So let's get a little bit bigger so I can show you a little camera a little closer. What do you think? I mean, that's some sort of, it's very, it's very soft as well. Let me show you. You can sort of bend it. It bends before it breaks. Uh, let's go for a taste. So I actually think it's very boring. No, no smiley face, but it, 
it's a, it smells fantastic, but that's kind of changing things up. It looks like a sort of piece of rye or a, or a cracker more than anything, and that's not that appealing. I have to say it's not that appealing, but of course it's going to make up for it taste. And it's gingerbread. It's not like a, a wild jammy biscuit or like not, there's shapes on there. There's no chocolate over there. It's not a great looking biscuit, and we have to say that. We have to all hold our hands up and say, but it is better looking than just because it looks chunkier and more substantial. And actually, the colour. There are bits of ginger that you can see sticking out of it, which actually are slightly more appealing. So it's better than the rich tea finger, but it's not overall a fantastic looking biscuit. Uh, but then, you know, that's just my gut feeling is, is, is a six for now. Uh, I think that's fine. I think that's absolutely fine. It does look a little bit like moss. I don't know. All right, taste. Here we go. This is... I'm quite hungry as well, so let's, let's, let's see how this goes. This is this is hard for me. It's not that good. Oh, it's got a nice aftertaste. Text it. The love isn't there, Commander Benkai. Absolutely right. I do like it. I do like it, Kitty. I'm really, really enjoying it. But as I'm breaking it down into its individual sections, I mean, the durability is... I've, it's never been crummier around where I'm sitting right now. There are crumbs. It is like a Marrakesh Bazaar, just littered with sand. <laughs> I imagine Marrakesh Bazaar has lots of sand. I don't know, it's probably the most um, stereotypical thing that's just nonsense. Uh, but, yeah, it's... Oh. oh! Here's the true test. Dunkability, here we go. I'm using the um, Yorkshire tea mug here today um, because I just feel like it's going to get crumbs all up in my drink. Here we go. One, two, three... Holding up very well. It's holding up very, very strongly. But it is quite strong. It's, it's interesting stuff. One. Oh, God, two. Three. Double dunk. Let's do a little tap test. So you can probably hear that. It's still hard. One. Triple dunk. Two. Three. So it's making up for points in, in dunkage. Let's see how it tastes after a dunk. I feel weird about dunking gingerbread already, so this is going to be strange. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, that's much nicer. <laughs> Dan Jessica Booth's freaking out about my Lancashire. Look, I support the North, all right? I'm a Northerner. I don't care which side of the Pennines you're from. The North of England, or even the Northwest. That's where it's all about. Okay. Dunkability. Ten. It went all the way. I could have dunked it again. It wouldn't fall apart. It was just not falling apart during the dunk. The post-dunk taste, it was much better. Actually, much better. Probably a full point better. Unprecedented, everybody. I've gone back and changed. I do agree with everybody else who's saying it. It's not a nice-looking biscuit. In fact, it looks unappealing. Um... But once you softened it up after the post-dunk taste, it was very, very nice, very nice. Softer, to almost to the point where I feel like it's lost something maybe in transportation. Maybe it's been taking a few days to get to me. And maybe if it was more, maybe it was warmed up or something, it'd be much nicer. I don't know. It's difficult to know. It's difficult to know this sort of stuff. Um, it, it's, this is not a poor recommendation on my part, by the way. It is very, very nice. Celebrated? I'm wondering who's celebrating it. People who will probably make money from it, celebrating it, I imagine. Satisfaction? It was nice. It's, it, 
Yeah, not but not but not incredible. Morrisness, very very similar. Uh, a, a little bit higher, a little bit higher than that. Let's find out how it scores on the total sheet. Fifty four, not bad at all. Let's select all of it, order it, see how it stands up. Uh, we have, of course, where did it go? Fifty four, I said, yeah. Here we go. Sarah Nelson's Grassmere Gingerbread. Does look like it's just at the top of the bottom third or just at the bottom of the second third down there. Very, very good indeed. In at 22nd place. So that was the 33rd biscuit that we've reviewed so far. Um, Parazine earlier on was asking, how do we get biscuits? How do biscuits make the list? I just, people are sending me stuff now, so I've got a backlog of biscuits to get through. Um, got loads to do this week. Um, yeah, it is a decent score, Vanguard. Honestly, it's very, very good. It's not going to top the list, but it's, it's a decent score. Mm. Never going to make it. Um, Parazine, you can do, um, yeah, 33 hours of this. We've, we've literally done. Coats, I don't know how it happened. We've done 33 hours of this. But look, I'm up for taking more suggestions. You know I am. Um, I've also got some of the standards to do yet. We want to go back and do some of the supermarket biscuits like Asda. I've not touched on any Asda, Asda's stuff. We've got so many more biscuits to review. I'm thinking about setting up a blog as well. Would anyone want me to set up a blog where this spreadsheet is readily available? And I might even do like two or three, like three line reviews of each biscuit as well, um, just for fun. So it'd be a very silly, ironical blog linking to this stream basically but let me know if you do want me to put up a resource online so everybody can see where we're at with the biscuit reviews and even have it as a review guide as well uh, also if anybody else is thinking i might actually interesting stream tongue face yes spy tech it's a load of noise i know i get it it's weird mm. all right so i'll set up a blog because coot says it should happen and he is the assistant producer um Margaret says, have I reviewed hobnobs? Let's find out. I've only reviewed one hobnob so far, and that is the... It was very high up. Milk chocolate covered high hobnob, and it's currently sitting at fourth place. But I wonder how the hobnobs are going to do. I think it'll be very, very good. All right, blog, yes. People want blog. Uh, oh, Orange Spark, if you're going to... Yeah, I'll take homemade cookies too. I'm happy to review your homemade cookies, but the thing is I will always be completely uh, objective as well. So... Hmm. Sean, the biscuit pocket mug did not get stolen, it's right here. It just needs a wash. I've left it in here for the last three days over the weekend and I forgot to wash it up, so it just needs to get washed up. All right, thank you everybody for joining me today. Uh, it's an exciting week ahead, of course. We've got loads going on this week. I'm gonna be doing this stream again tomorrow. We've got CQC stream tomorrow night. I'm gonna be doing Guest Wednesdays on Wednesday, which is a Girl Scout cookie special. So Girl Scout cookies, you know, those things that you hear about in American TV shows and all those European lot don't have any idea what's going on. Girl Scout cookies. Well, I'm about to find out how those Girl Scout cookies rank up against our supermarket produce here in the UK. Uh, and then also on Friday, of course, we have the return of the Bisque Quiz with Walter Neil Lewis, my dad. He comes on Skype. He's up in the corner. It's really funny. It's really silly. He does a quiz, me versus you guys. He calls you the chatters, and I think that's really cute and really nice. And then, of course, we continue and review a biscuit at the every, every day around about this time. So do join me again. Henry! It's time for you to do your job. Me and Henry are going to go away and do our job, if you know what I mean. And by that, I mean that he's going to clean up the table of crumbs. Nothing else, nothing weird, nothing sinister. So, see you all tomorrow. Thank you very much, guys. You are all wonderful. And I, I love you all dearly. If you aren't already, do press the follow button down below. And, uh, yeah, have a nice evening. Stay safe, look after yourselves. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Oh, you're doing a great job there, Henry. Yes, great job. Oh, keep going, Henry. Keep, keep, yes, keep talking, Henry. Go. Perfect stuff. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff indeed. Goodbye. Bye!